But I think the solution is really for China and the U.S. to sign a bilateral investment treaty, right? And、uh, because the bilateral investment treaty can be very clear about one protection, mutual protection of、uh, investments in each other. It's a territory.、Um, you know, it can lay out what happens if there's a dispute, right, with the government, right? There's some、um, arbitration procedure or、uh, what laws will apply. But I think most important for both countries will be a negative list, right? I mean, it's much better to know ahead of time that these are not possible. On both sides, they don't have to be the same list, but it's better to know in advance that, you know, you don't even bother, <laughs> right? I think a BIT has one. There's one important、uh, reason why the Trump administration may be interested in BIT, and that is in infrastructure, right? Because one of the main campaign. Uh, 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 Platform promise is doing infrastructure. Now the question is, where are you going to find the money to do the infrastructure, right? And I think I think that the BIT can be quite specific about the type of infrastructure that would be allowed, how how the infrastructure investment can be protected, because the infrastructure is long term, right? You build a road, build a bridge, it's thirty years, right? So you it, it actually has to be. Uh, done within the context of a BIT. Do you see that as possible that the、uh, the the two countries can have a BIT?、Uh, um, I think I think actually they are very close. My understanding is they were quite close uh, uh, under the Obama administration and under the Trump administration.、Um, you know, I mean, like I said, you know, there would there are still businesses that would like a BIT on both sides. Right, and then I think the infrastructure investment is one other reason <laughs> for pushing it.